Welcome or welcome back to our channel. I am Adrian Jones, the Associate Director of the Arkansas Humanities Council, and this is our Webinar Wednesday for Museum Collections and Resource Grants. The Museum Collection or Resource Grant has a maximum award of $5,000. There's no cost share required for this grant or a matching of funds, whether that's in cash or in kind from the applicant organization. This grant initiative has two cycles. The first cycle's LOI opens January 15th and ends February 28th. LOIs that are approved can move forward to the application with an application deadline of April 15th. Projects for the first grant cycle may begin on May 1st. The second cycle, the LOI opens July 15th and ends August 31st. LOIs approved from the second cycle may move on to the application with an application deadline of October 15th. The second cycle's projects may begin November 1st. Grantees who are awarded may be allowed 12 months to complete their projects with each of the cycle's beginning dates of either May 1st or November 1st. Eligibility for the Museum Collections and Resource Grant, the applicant organization will need to be a museum, archive, or a public library with an annual budget of up to $500,000. Applicant organizations need to be accessible to the general public for in-person and or virtual programs and activities. Applicant organizations who are seeking fund for conservation work will either need to have a conservator on part-time or full-time as their staff, or will be required to hire a conservator who specialize in the care of objects, paintings, paper, books, etc., and who would be appropriate for the work that needs to be performed. The types of projects that are allowable under this grant initiative include professional development, for in-state or out-of-state workshops or conferences, collections management, including software or the hiring of personnel for a collection survey or purchase of materials for a collection survey, conservation and preservation work, uh, hiring a certified or licensed conservator, storage and display, a purchase of museum racks and cabinets, as well as a host of conservation materials, including tweezers, fasteners, weights, pest traps, tying twine, document book repair supplies, and many other conservation cleaning supplies adhesives. The purchase of equipment um, can include scanners, digital cameras, dehumidifiers, monitoring equipment, computers, and external hard drives. A host of preservation materials may be purchased, including acid-free boxes and, and boxes and tissues, folders and boards, film and photograph housing and enclosures, framing, matting and mounting, um, as well as sleeves and protectors, preservation and care of special collections of books and manuscripts, cartographic records, decorative and fine art objects, textiles, historical objects, prints and photographs and digital materials. Supplies for conservation and preservation work um, that includes tools, supplies for books, pamphlets, documents, manuscripts, prints and photographs, art mediums such as pastels, oil, acrylic, watercolors, pen and ink, textiles, artifacts, historical objects and media. Digitization of documents, photographs, maps, etc. to make available and accessible to the general public, scholars, genealogists, and others, as well as risk assessment and emergency planning for said museums, archives, or public libraries. If you have any questions about your project or if your project is eligible, feel free to reach out to us at staff. The Museum Collection Resource Grants requirements at the LOI stage. The LOI is a preliminary form that will verify an applicant organization's tax exemption status 
their UEI or unique entity identifier. You'll also at this stage provide a project description as well as a simple budget. The LOI must be submitted and approved before an applicant can move on to the grant application itself. LOIs will only be considered if they are submitted by the due date. An applicant organization's tax exemption status must be verified at this stage as well, where you will provide your employee identification number or EIN, as well as a current letter of determination from the IRS. The UEI will also need to be currently active and registered at SAM.gov, and it must also remain active throughout the grant period. If additional documentation or clarification is needed, AHC staff will reach out to you. At this stage, the project description provided will need to clearly and concisely describe the project, who will be involved, and what activities will take place during the grant period. The initial project budget will be a simple budget that outlines project costs, provide a clear determination of how AHC funds will be used, and any projected cost share. The Museum Collections and Resource Grant Requirements at the Application Stage. This includes grant period information. Eligible grant projects can run anywhere between for the first cycle, May 1st through April 30th of the following year, and for the second cycle, November 1st to October 31st of the following year. Again, grant periods for this grant initiative are allowed to run for 12 months. You'll need to provide finance contact information. We'll need a fiscal agent who is a individual who will be responsible for receiving and dispersing of grant payments. This person cannot be the project director for the project, as well as a proposed project need. This is where you'll describe why this project is needed and how the project was planned. You'll provide a budget summary. This is a PDF fillable spreadsheet that numerically demonstrates funds requested as well as any cost share secured. Budgets must be submitted on AHC fillable forms. These forms are linked in the application. Budget items and numerical amounts should reflect the budget explanation and documentation provided. The budget explanation is also a PDF fillable document that verbally and numerically justifies the budget summary and grant request. You'll provide an itemized explanation of the totals listed in the budget summary, as well as a justification for the funds you're requesting from AHC. Figures and justification should match the budget summary in amount and category. Where any federal or state rates aren't applicable, you must submit documentation to corroborate the amounts included in the budget. If there's any issue or if clarification is required, AHC staff will reach out for more information. Grant purpose categories and required documentation for the Museum Collections and Resource Grant include professional development, equipment, museum racks and cabinets, digitization, collections management, conservation, conservation materials, preservation materials, as well as risk assessment and emergency planning. With these categories, depending on what's selected for your project, will require you to provide documentation of quotes or estimate for requested equipment, purchases of supplies and tools, or the hiring of a conservator. You will also need to provide a detailed explanation about the need for the requested materials or supplies, including a description of what they are. And if you hire a conservator, that person will need to fulfill a conservator agreement, just verifying that they are going to work on the project and perform the needed work. Important guideline updates. These changes took effect on January 1, 2023, unless otherwise noted. For the purpose of this grant initiative, an organization that has received three consecutive years of funding for the same project will not be allowed to apply for a grant for that project for two consecutive years. 
The organization may apply for grants for other endeavors during the two-year period. Examples of the same project include, but are not limited to, the following. Annual conferences, seminars, and or workshops, media pre-production, production, and long-term exhibits on the same subject, just to name a few. With the Museum Collections and Resource Grant, this may be a project that would be a large project that would take more than a couple of years to complete. An applicant organization will not be allowed to receive funding after three consecutive years of receiving funding for the same project, such as a large collections survey or a large digitization project. This new policy takes effect January 1st, 2024. In our grants team, everyone on AHC staff works on various grants. Jayma Best, our executive director, she heads the Access to the Humanities grants and works on the major grants. Jamie Middleton, our program officer, answers general grants questions and works on education grants, mini grants, major grants. The point person for handling payments and fund disbursement via bill.com is our chief financial officer, Katie Daly, and that's for all grants. I myself work with the museum collections and resource grants as well as major grants. Asia Webster, our other program officer, heads the Black History and Culture Grants, works with the mini grants as well as major grants, and Ann Clements, our education director, works on education grants and major grants. If you have any questions regarding this or other grants, please feel free to reach out to us. And that's it for this webinar Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you.